Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. In this sub-series, we are going to learn about the session state. First, let us get introduced to session state. To understand session state, one should know what is a user session. Let's say a user is connected to a music store website, logged in, checking in some music CD, and then finally placing the order. So if you see, the user is performing multiple action. So first they are browsing to the, uh, I mean, um, navigating to the website that sells music CDs. Then they are logging in with their username, password, credential. Then they are adding some music CD to the shopping cart. We can say this as a check-in in. And finally, they are placing the order. That means they uh, pay the amount uh, to purchase those CDs. So the user performed multiple action right after opening the browser. We call this as a user session. All this action is performed under a single user session. We call this as a user session for the specific website. And session disconnects when user closes the web browser. So let's state that. We have a web browser and here is a client session. So if you see the user is placing or interacting with the web server with multiple requests. The first one is user getting the web page for the music store by providing the URL. Then the user is logging in. After that, they are per they are navigating through different web pages and picking the music uh, CDs. This is third action, let us say. Finally, they are uh, the user is uh, uh, making the payment. Finally, they will close the browser. Right? We can call all these action as a user session. So all these actions are performed in a single user session and the user session ends when the user closes this browser. In ASP.NET, this session is represented by the session object, which can be retrieved via HTTP context of the request. Right? So, when we are writing the code in the web server, right, ASP.NET code runs here and we can get session object from the HTTP context and HTTP context can be retrieved from the request, right. Once session object is retrieved, we can store the session related information in it. If we want to store information beyond multiple requests on the same session, we can use this session object, right? Let's say this is the first request and this one is the second request because here we are doing the login, right? So after the login, let's say we get the session object and we store something here, right? Whatever you store that can be seen beyond multiple requests. So at request 2, you stored something and at request 4, you can retrieve whatever is stored on the request 2. So that's what here we are stating. If you want to store information beyond multiple requests on the same session, this is single user session, right? User session A, which uh, logs into the site and purchases some music CDs. If you want to store information beyond multiple requests on same session, we can use this session object. Note, if you want to store shopping cart with checked in product, the session 
state is more suitable than view state right so suppose if this is your session object and user is browsing through multiple pages and let's say the user visited one two three and 12 pages which shows the catalogs of music cds so from here let's say the user purchased some music cds right so these are all multiple page request and the action is picking a particular music cd so if we have a session object we can add those music cds as a cart information so if you see since the session object is same and it can be seen beyond multiple requests we can accumulate the purchased products or purchased cd in this case in this sub series we will learn about asp.net session and storing session related information there is no demo in here thank you for watching bye